Hey guys, King of Charm Madness here. All right, so we got Alolan Ninetales, aka A9, for Ultra Premier as an XL level 50. So the thing about A9 is that it is an ice and a fairy type. Now the thing about this is that it's a really unique typing. Because with ice and fairy, you're neutral to fighting. So you want normally would resist fight it. Fairy, you actually do neutral damage because it's weak to ice. So the thing about Lolan Ninetales, it can actually go to level 50 for Ultra League. If you have the right IVs, you can actually go below the 2500 or exactly at 2500 for level 50. Just pretty nuts. Because of that, Alolan Ninetales has pretty hot, pretty balanced and high stats. And because of the Powder Snow slash Weather Ball update it got, it's really crazy. Actually, just Weather Ball. But you know what? With Powder Snow, it's pretty beastly. So as you see, A9, great stats, great typing. And it has an even amount of weaknesses and resistances. With the resistances, you do resist Dragon Bug, Dark, and Ice. So you resist things like x Scissor, you resist Dragon Breath users, Night Slashes, which are actually pretty prominent in like Ultra Premiere, and Ice types like Lapras, Lapras, what else? XL Frostless if someone has one. The problem is there's a lot of weaknesses in the Ultra Premiere meta. So you won't see a lot of, like you'll see Steel Typings, but you won't really see like Pure Steel unless it's like Mirror Shot or like Flash Cannon. Rock Slides from Machamps. And the problem with, I would say, Ultra Premier is that there's a lot more poison coverage. So Sludge Bomb from Venusaur, you probably can see that a lot more. Or Sludge Wave from Alolan Mach. And you also have the occasional charge that comes around and like to fire spin everything. So that too. And those, if you find those, those incinerate users as well. So you have a, do you have a decent amount? Like you see a lot of the resistance, but you also see weaknesses as well. That's what makes Alolan Ninetales really, really interesting for Ultra Premier. So is it really good? It's actually pretty dang good. All right, so as you see here, here's the Ultra Open Ultra League rankings for peepoke.com. As you see, Alolan Ninetales, or A9 for short, actually ranks at number 18. The XL version is really strong, particularly as a lead. Actually, it does well in all d dimensions, but especially as a lead. Here's the thing. With A9, with Powder Snow and Weather Ball, you take out Gira, Togekiss, Articuno, and Gyarados. And even Charizard. Wait, what? Yeah, Charizard, Fire-type, but you actually can take out Charizard, which is nuts. It's crazy just how powerful it is. It's able to take down the primary charmer, Giratina, which has been a god forever, and even take out Articuno because ice, because of the ice neutral damage. It's just pretty nuts just how strong it is. Also, you do resist Articuno's ice shards and icy winds because it's an ice flying type, so you do neutral damage. It's pretty, it's, like I said, it's nuts. Now, it does have a few key losses. You have a pretty close matchup against Cresselia. It's 508. Obstagoon can still beat you, unfortunately. It can gunshot you to oblivion, so be very, very careful. You. The thing about, like, Dart. What? The thing about A9 and what sucks is that counter users do neutral damage because Ice and Fairy. So you fairy resist, but it's weak against Ice, so fighters do neutral damage, which is why you lose against Obstagoon and Excavalier. Amok also gives you a hard time because if it hits you with a Slough Wave, it's not a good time. It likely will OKO you. And, of course, Melmetal. Everybody, well, if you use Melmetal, you don't hate Melmetal. But you know what? If you see a Melmetal with A9, it's not a good time. So, make sure you have something that covers Melmetal. But as you see, it's incredibly powerful. Number 18 as an XL is pretty dang good, especially with what it covers as its key wins. Best used as the lead, but like I said, it does pretty well in all the other positions as well. But I would lead with it, just because if you do happen to encounter... A really hard matchup just because Melmetal and Registeel are still floating around. You can pivot out. But still very, very powerful. And also, if you win the lead, these are some strong ratings. 6 and 700, those are some really strong ratings. Off the lead, A9 actually ranks at number 10. So it's actually a top 10 lead, which is just pretty nuts. On the closer, A9 ranks at number 75. Being able to even take out Venusaur as here. And taking out Gyarados is always a plus. As a switch, A9 is actually number 23, being able to take out the, everything I mentioned above. But as you see, it has strong positions in everything but the closer. So as a lead or a switch, A9 is pretty dang good. All right, as I always see, please consider donating to peepoke.com. All right, so I have Nololi Ninetales, as you see here. We have Powder Snow at level 50. 
We got level 51. So if you want a best buddy and you want to see if best buddy works, here it is right here. We also have charm and I also did powder snow with dazzling gleam, level 50 and 51. These are, I would say, the best movesets. You don't need Ice Beam with a little Nine Tails because you got Weather Ball. So you need Weather Ball with it, but we're going to see if you can use both variations. Of course, we're just going to run through everything. It's going to be quick, and we have Ultra Premier on the right here. Right here. We have the Two Shield, I click Battle, and as you see here, you have a lot of coverage. So it gets really interesting. As you see here, with Weather Ball, you could actually take out Blaziken because you have Psy Shock. Or if you charm down. So Psyshock is able to take out those fighters. Which makes it really nice. You're also able to take down Clefable. As you see Clefable over here. I believe you just go straight Weather Ball. Yes you just go straight Weather Ball. So you can take out a Clefable with a straight Weather Ball. I'm not sure if it happens if it's level 50. As you see here. Straight Weather Ball. If, the, if it happens to be a level 51. What happens? So if it's level 50 you don't take it out. You need... Well if you have level 50 it lives with 9 HP. So yeah. It's just depends. So, but you still win the ones. So, with the Lola Nine Tails, as you see here, you can take out Dragonite. You take out Driplin, which basically is the Flyers. Now, here's the thing: you have to watch out for Steel Typings, as you see here. Excavalier and Napoleon, they they like destroy you. You beat Shadow Zegator because it's a Grass type. You also beat Shadow Gallade. You don't beat regular Gallade though. I think you can beat regular Gallade. You like, it's just because it's Psy Shock. But I think you can beat regular Gallade, just going straight Weather Ball. As you see here, straight Weather Ball is the play. So you should be able to beat, win straight Weather Ball. I'm not sure, like, this is one of those weird sims where, like, for some odd reason, this variation doesn't beat it. Even though they're the same levels. But that should, that's just a cosmetic thing. You should be able to beat it just going straight Weather Ball with level 50, as you see here. Now with Gengar, you beat Gengar with, you beat Gengar with the Weather Ball. You don't win with Charm because Poison resists Charm. You beat, okay, so here's where it gets kind of weird. You beat the Ice Water Hybrid Lapras, but you lose with Powder Snow because it resist it's resisted. You beat both variations of Machamp in the Two Shield with Charm Nine Tails, but you lose with the you only beat the regular one with Powder Snow or Psy Shock actually. So you only beat the regular one, not the Shadow, because Shadow can actually just outpace you. This might be a bait dependent matchup, as you see here. They have to drop rocks on you. Oh, never mind. They just go straight cross shop. That's why you lose. So Shadow Machamp can actually just out damage Alolan Nine Tails. Which is why why it beats you. With the Powder Snow variation, you beat a Lola Muck. The reason you don't beat it with a Charmer is because it does neutral damage, and a Lola Muck can outpace you those Sludge Waves. You also lose against Obstagoon and Polyrath, even though you have Psychic. Well, with Psy Shock, it's kind of risky because like you have to be careful. Because if you look over here, it's like it's it's gonna resist. It'll resist Psy Shocks, and your Weather Balls don't do enough. That's what makes it kind of weird, because like. It's, it's very, it's very strange. You should theory, I think it's, I think, I think it's just, you should theoretically win this though. Yeah, you should be able to theoretically win the two shield because if this wins the two shield, why? Oh, it's because you double bait and hit Dazzling Gleam, that's why. Yep, the Dazzling Gleam is what takes it out. So for Polyrath and Obstagoon, if you have Dazzling Gleam, you could flip this matchup. So there's an argument for not running Psy Shock and actually running... Dazzling Gleam, you'll actually cover more things with Dazzling Gleam than I think you would Psy Shock in the common meta for now. Does that make sense? As you see here, Dazzling Gleam is able to take out Slowbro because you Slowbro essentially just resists both, both like it literally like it doesn't really wall it actually yeah it walls you. So Slowbro will wall you with Psy Shock, but it does it with Dazzling Gleam. You can actually take it out with Charm too. With Swampert, you could beat it with Charm and the Two Shield. However, in every other scenario, you do lose. And you can beat it with Dazzling Gleam. So as you see here, level 51, you level 51's able to get a Dazzling Gleam off. I'm not sure why this one doesn't. Oh, it's the Charm version. So you if you hit it with a Dazzling Gleam, you live. And if you don't, is there some kind of bulk point here? Okay, okay. Fire, fire, sludge wave, then you faint. So why do you live? Powder Snow does 5 damage. Munchot does 3. One, does three. Is there a bulk or break point here? So that's why the level 51 wins? Or is it just... It's the Dazzling Gleam. So you win because of... Da so Dazzling Gleam can flip the Swampert matchup as long as you're able to hit Dazzling Gleam. So if you can hit Dazzling... It looks like... It, it looks like it, there's... Yeah, if you can hit Dazzling Gleam, it looks like you win. So... Still, it's this is the Sludge Wave one though. If you get the Earthquake one, you can beat it with either Charm or with either Charm or the Weather Ball variant. 
So it just really depends which Swampert you're facing. You beat Tangrowth, you beat Togekiss, Toxicroak, Umbreon XL as well. So Umbreon XL will follow alone in Ninetales because you do resist Snarl and Foul Play. You also take out Venusaur. The Charm one was not. So as you see, Alolan Ninetales is pretty dang powerful. Now on the one shield, things get really interesting. So that's the two shield. As you see, very powerful on the two shield. Only losing to things like Charizard, Steel types, and basically Slowbro and Swampert. So things that do outpace you or if they wall you like Slowbro, ironically. So in the one shield, your act you do lose it. You can't win against Blaziken either way. You also don't lose it. You also don't win against Fire Spin and Charizard. However, you still beat Obama. You beat Ampharos. Clefable, Dragonite, the Flyers, and Polyon and Scavalier still give you a hard time just because of the fact that they resist pretty much everything you have to throw at them because they're steel typings. You beat Shadow Executor, you beat Gallade with Charm, and if you have Dazzling Gleam, you do not beat it with the Psy Shock version. Can you go straight Weather Ball? Or do you hit it with Dazzling Gleam? Okay, so you can go straight Weather Ball. So you can go straight Weather Ball. I am not sure why it shows it this way, why the Psy Shock though shows this way. Okay, so it, it will close combat you. So it close combat you. Does it close combat you here? No, it's going straight leaf blade. That's why. Okay, so there's something. So the thing is, so if it, so that's why it's not hitting with a nuke. Okay, so if you will lose against Gallade if you eat a close combat. So if you eat a leaf blade, you can eat a leaf blade, but if you eat a close combat, you die. So. That's basically what it is. You beat Gengar with you beat Gengar with Powder Snow with a Psy Shock variation because you actually could take it out. You also beat Shadow Champ, Alolan Mox, Polyrath. The Charm version actually takes out a lot of things. If you look at Charm, you take out all the variations of Machamp, Slapras, Muck. You convincingly beat Obstacle and Polyrath. You only you beat him. You beat well. You beat Polyrath out of every variation, but you still flip that. You also flip Slowbro with Charm. So Charm Ninetales is actually not a bad idea because it does a lot of damage. Now on the one shield, you can beat Swampert. As you see here, you can also beat it with the Weather Ball. So I'm assuming you just go straight Weather Ball. As you see here, Weather Ball, Weather Ball. Yeah, you just straight Weather Ball. So straight Weather Ball will actually take out Swampert in the one shield. You'll also be Togekiss, Tangrowth, Umbreon, XL, and Venusaur. So with Toxicroak, you don't beat it. You don't beat Toxicroak with Charm just because it... Poison does resist. So Poison does resist you and because those counters do neutral damage. So as you see, there is merit to running Charm. Charm does flip some matchups as well as Weather, as well as Powder Snow. So either one works. So that's what's really good about Lone Line Tales. There's a lot of flexibility. Now on the zeros, things get a little dicey. This is the weakest position for Alola Nine Tails. As you see, you lose out the Obama Snow matchup. Unless you have Charm. Still be on Brahma, so you still be Ampharos. You're gonna lose against Blaziken and Charizard just because they'll pro like the Blast Bird and Hurts and Fire Spin Hurts as well. Clefable will defeat you just because it charms you down. I'm it's able to hit you with a charge move. Because Meteor Mash actually does Meteor Mash does double it'll actually like it'll it's actually double so it'll hurt uh, you basically die to a Meteor Mash. You beat Dragonite and Driplim. You still don't beat Napoleon X Cavalier. So general thing is like steel typings, you're not gonna beat them. That's generally. So you be you lose against Gallade Shadow. Well, you should lose against it because it close combats you, right? Okay. Oh, you win because of Dazzling Gleam. So if you have Dazzling Gleam, you can win with Dazzling Gleam. Otherwise, it, it, you can't take it out with Psy Shock. Or just straight Weather Ball. You beat Gengar, you beat Kingdra. You're going to lose against Lapras just because Lapras does outthick you. But it's a close matchup, as you see here. You can land a D-Gleam. I think you could take it out. Other than that, I think you just get Surfed Down. Yeah, you just get surfed down. So you could actually hit two Dazzling Gleams in a closer, but it still takes you out just because Lapras has more bulk. You could beat Shadow Champ. You lose with a Powder Snow variation, though, because it can drop a Rock Slide on you. So just keep that in mind. Shadow Champ will KO you with Rock Slide. Even if you have Psy Shock. As you see here, bam, you Psy Shock. I mean, you Water Ball, and then Rock Slide can take you out. Plus the, plus the counter damage. And then Rock Slide to two more counters, and then it's just going to take you out. You lose against Magzone and Aimot because they do resist your move. They do resist Psy Shock or Dazzling Gleam, and you can get. You basically just get Sludge Waved, and then Wild Charge. And then I think it could just like Magzone just Wild Charge used to death. You get Wild Charge to death. Polyrath, you beat Polyrath though. Psy Shock, you also beat it with Charm and Dazzling Gleam. You beat Slowbro if you have Dazzling Gleam. Otherwise, you get walled by a Slowbro. You beat Snorlax. You beat Tangro, Togekiss, Toxicroak, Umbreon, unless you're carrying Charm, of course, with Toxicroak. So on the one and the zeros, you'll lose against Toxicroak or Venusaur just because Charm is resisted by poison. 
and he also loses against Swampert Convincingly. So there are merits to writing Charm. However, the more the less shield you have, the more dangerous it becomes. All right, so we did it with the zeros. Now what happens is we have shield advantage. Holy crud! If you're in the one to zeros, you beat the entire meta with the exception of Steel Typings and Slowbro if you are carrying Psyshock just because of Wallsy. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. Well, if you're running the Charm one, you lose against Charizard just because you're resistant. But, like, you only drop, like, five matchups, which is pretty nuts. This is just the one to zeros, by the way. In the two to zeros... What? No, that's the one to zeros. In the two to zeros, what happens? In the two to zeros, you beat the entire meta with the exception of Scizor. So, no matter what variation you have, you beat the entire meta with the exception of Scizor and Empoleon if you have the Psyshock one. So, Scizor and Empoleon. But Dazzling Gleam, you can beat Empoleon. I'm guessing you Dazzling Gleam. Just straight Dazzling Gleam. Yep, just straight Dazzling Gleam. And then you Weather Ball. So you can... you. It's very strong. It's very strong in the 1 to zeros or the, two, or the 2 to zeros. Even with just Shield Advantage, as you see here, you only drop Empoleon, Magnezone if you have the Power Snow variation, Scizor. That's it. Wow. So if you have Shield Advantage, you practically destroy... You destroy... You destroy a lot of the meta. Like, that's pretty just nuts. That's just nuts at how powerful it is. So, you lose against Magnus, I'm guessing, just because it can hit you. I guess Mirror Shot or Wild Charge. Yeah, Mirror Shot, Mirror Shot, Mirror Shot. Yeah, I could just straight Mirror Shot you to death. But you... Yeah, so... Ma oh, wow, that's crazy. So, with it's... Wow, with Shield Advantage, this thing's really, really good. You take out... Yeah, you beat a lot of things. That's just... That's just crazy. I'm just really dumbfounded because, like, I've never seen something dominate so much. Well, I've, I, yeah, other than probably G Fist, but, like, still, with just Shield Advantage, it's just nuts at how powerful Alolan Ninetales is. As you see here, you beat Obama Snow in the two to ones, and if you have Shield Advantage, you just don't beat in the zeros. How about a level 51? Out of curiosity. So, level 40 versus level 50. Level 40 versus level 50, you could beat him in the two shield. So, you could beat Obama Snow in the two shield, which is still crazy. This thing's very powerful. So with shield advantage, you're 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 doing good. So it, it's very powerful, the Ultra Premier. Very powerful. So if I had to give it a look, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Okay, it's just really good. Like so, Alola Nine Tails is a very very powerful mon at level fifty for Ultra Premier. It's best in to use an Elite and a Switch, but it it does so it does really it's really strong. You have a lot of options. You can even run Charm if you wanted to. But this thing is insanely powerful as an XL Pokemon. Obviously, the reason I'm not going to give it a 10 because it's not its not really meta-breaking. Things like Excavalier, Scizor, or like the Steel types in general. Like Empoleon, which is actually pretty popular in Ultra Premier. Or, or like Magnezone. Those are the reasons why I don't give it a 10 out of 10. Because popular Steel types are still around. Steel is a, very, is a popular archetype. At the same time, Firespin Charizard also runs around, so Ninetales weaknesses run around a lot in the meta. But if you can keep it away from its weaknesses and give it, you can if you actually give it like, enter, uh, if you give it Shield Advantage, if it's not facing a Steel type, it can take if it does, yeah, if it's not facing a Steel type, it can take out that Pokemon, which is just nuts. Alolan Ninetales does so well against the overall Ultra Premier meta. There, it covers Gyarados, Ampharos. Gyarados, Ampharos, Togekiss, Dragonites, the Flyers, and the Grass types, which are very prominent. And you even have coverage against Swampert in a lot of scenarios. Because of that, Alolan Ninetales is definitely worth running in a team if you can get to level 50. The only issue is, is, like I said, just you have to watch out for Poison Typings if you're using Charm. You also have to watch out for Charizard. You have to watch out for other re relevant meta things, especially Empoleon. Empoleon is probably going to be your worst nightmare because that thing is used a lot. But other than that, if you can keep Alolan Ninetales away from its weaknesses... It covers a lot of the meta, and it's very strong against a lot of the meta, which is just nuts at how strong, how powerful Low Ninetales is. Especially in the 1 to zeros, or if you have Shield Advantage, as you see here, you're just very, very powerful. With Shield Advantage, you win a lot of matchups, and that's just crazy. You can, And the flexibility, too, gives it nice. You can run Dazzling Gleam, you can run Psyshock, you can also run Charm if you want to. In my opinion, I would run Dazzling Gleam just because you could take out things like Obstagoon, you could take out the Fighters as well. Psyshock, the only coverage I see you really using for is probably Gengar and other things, but even then, like, Weather Ball, like, most of the time you're going to use Weather Ball. If you are considering using Alola Ninetales for Ultra Premier, it's not a bad idea. It's incredibly powerful, as you see in, the, in like, most of the Sims. It covers a lot of areas, and it's just really, 
really powerful, especially if you give it shields. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you're doing well on your Go Battle League sets. Uh, I'm just shocked at how powerful. I like this is the first time I've looked at it for Ultimate. It's just a, it's like crazy just how powerful Lola Ninetales is with just giving it Weather Ball for Go Battle League in both Great and Ultra Leagues, both Ultra Leagues. Again, good luck on your Go Battle League sets, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>